Hello and welcome to a narrated video tour for 3 St. Laurent Place in Halifax, Nova Scotia in the subdivision of Cresthaven. Just going to do a quick 360 of the street itself. Very mature, sought after, exclusive area, executive area. Lots of great families, lots of neighborhood parties throughout the, throughout the year. Within walking distance to great schools, Grosvenor Wentworth Elementary is just around the corner. And then, uh, actually, I'll just turn around. As if we go up that street, then you're going to hit uh, multiple paths that go into uh, Hemlock Ravine Park. And there's lots of trails and parks and, and all kinds of great things uh, in there as well. So very, very convenient. We are about 10 to 15 minutes to downtown Halifax, depending on traffic. And you're also uh, within uh, easy um, drive, just a few minutes to several different highways. So this is the one and only executive bungalow with a two-car garage in the subdivision brick exterior. There's the two car uh, garage there. Newer insulated exterior doors. So I'm going to take you in. Uh, in the home, home we're also going to see the backyard as well. About $100,000 has been invested in this property in the last five years and I'm going to be mentioning um, a lot of those different things when we go in. You can see again the newer garage steel insulated garage doors there. Okay so let's go inside. So very well thought out floor plan, great for entertaining and very homey as well. The majority of the house has hardwood flooring on this floor and then laminate down in the fully finished basement. The basement uh, was part of the $100,000 investment, a large chunk of it, and uh, it's really, really nice. So when you walk inside here, I'll just back up, you have a nice big coat closet there, a linen closet or, uh, for your coats and for your shoes. That's a half bath, which we'll take a peek in in a moment, just to back up so you can see the foyer that we came in nice and bright. So what we're going to do is we're going to start, we're going to go to the right here. This is your formal dining. This home is extremely well appointed. So you have crown molding throughout in lots of different places. Some very trendy wallpaper there. There's the windows that we actually walked by when we were coming in. Go right to the far side. There's the entrance. Just do a quick 360. You can see where it comes from. So that's where we came from. And we're going to be going into the kitchen now. So part of the investments were um, in the property were new light fixtures throughout, um, a lot of the outside and pretty much all of the inside. You can see that this is a quartz countertop that now has a, a, a lunch bar overhang. And this kitchen has been uh, refinished. And you also have a backsplash here. You can see the more quartz countertop there, glass inserts in some of the doors. And there's the hallway that we were at. Beautiful kitchen, stainless steel appliances, nice deep sink. I'll do a quick 360 there so you can see where we came from. Okay, so now we're going to continue on towards the to, to the right side of the house. So this is the mudroom laundry room area. Some more um, um, counter space, another sink. You have some uh, ca cabinets and all that type of thing, and there's your laundry. So you can use this as a pantry, uh, laundry, or sort of double task. And then you have a side entrance here, side door. This is going into the double car garage. There we go. So there's the two garage doors. You do have two exterior windows there. And then you also have an exterior door there as well, going towards the back of the property, the side leading toward the back. Okay, come back inside. So once again, really nice floor plan. Okay, we're going to be continuing on. We are now at the back of the home. So this is going to be your family room. Wood-burning fireplace there, some built-in cabinetry, more French doors. You also have more crown molding. Let's go right back here so you can see the flow of the house. That's going to be the living room we're going to go into in a moment. I'll take you out to the backyard right now. So we have a wood deck. We have a wood deck here, some grass. And then the owner recently put these stones in going up to another flat area in the backyard. This was just done recently. Again, part of the $100,000 investment. So nice and flat here, great place for a trampoline. 
and very private. A lot of these trees are hardwood trees that you can see, so they're all going to fill in in the spring and in the summer. I'll go right to the back so you can see here. So there's the back of the house. And that's where we just came from. Okay, so we'll head back down, go back inside. So you can just imagine, nice and peace and quiet back here with friends and family. Tap the shoes. Okay, here we go. Okay, back inside, continuing on now. Through the French doors. Now we're into the living room. Just going to back up, so you can back up so you can see. Nice big windows facing the back of the home. That's where we came from. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to be heading down towards the bedroom section of the house. Before we do that, here is the half bath. Half bath has been upgraded as well with a new sink. There we go. And a new toilet. Continuing on. Now we're going to go to our left. This is the master suite. Still all hardwood. So you have two large windows. Those are facing the street. Another upgrade has been the stone wall TV slash fireplace. You've got some pot lights, you've got crown molding, and that is really pretty. Just turn around. So there's your view, driveway. Nice big master bedroom. That's where we came from, more crown molding. You do have a walk-in closet here with organizers. And you also have an ensuite bath. So there's your vanity with a Corian countertop, sink. There's a bidet, custom tiled shower. That was also part of the renovation and upgrades. Good soaker tub. And of course you have your private closet there with your, uh, with your toilet in. Okay, continuing on, another big linen closet here. On our left, we are now in the main bath. So we have another vanity with a Corian countertop, newer sink and faucet, toilet, then we have a shower tub combination with a tile surround, and then we have a nice big skylight for natural light all day long. Now we're going into the second bedroom, back of the house, pardon me. So your view is of the backyard here, as you can see, double closet, Good size room. Continuing on, this is the third bedroom. Also facing the backyard. Big window. And another double closet. Okay. So, uh, the whole house has been uh, painted recently. We've got lots of upgrades in the kitchen. We've got lots of upgrades with uh, light fixtures and that type of thing, the backyard. And now we're going into the fully finished basement. Which, is, uh, which represents the bulk of the investment into the property. So when the owner bought this property, the basement for the most part wasn't finished at all. Well, it's certainly finished now, it's beautiful. So when I come downstairs, turn around, so there's the staircase there. We've got multiple different storage rooms, which I'll be showing you, and we've got multiple different areas and it's all pretty much open, so you can use it for different things. So this is a big workstation area at present. All laminate flooring down here. This is, and they have the sliding doors. So that's gonna be your uh, utility room. So there's your 200 amp service. So, and your um, hot water baseboard, or sorry, your hot water tank. Now this house does have 200 amp, as I was saying. So you could easily put in heat pumps and it would be uh, very beneficial to the property with regards to heating and cooling. It's currently heated with electric baseboards. Now we currently have a den as well, which is uh, being used as a bedroom, but it's a den. So you have a window there, the bed currently set up, and you also have a half bath down here as well. So there's your sink and your toilet. Carrying on. So before we head around the corner, you have one storage room here as well, just beside the staircase. Big storage room, lots of different storage rooms down here. 
And I've been told that there also is a secondary hookup for washer and dryer in there as well. Okay, lots of pot lights down here. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a bit of a 360 here. So uh, the, the owner had some built-in um, bunk beds and a PlayStation sort of an area here. So you've got some bunk beds here and also on the other side. And of course they would remain. Some storage, a little window. So that's where we just came from. And a nice, big, huge finished area. So she's made this a little play area here. You also have a dry bar. This home has also been retrofitted with an air exchanger. Fresh air in, stale air out. You can see it there. Okay. You have a dry bar here with a backsplash, some shelving. <laughs> if you have a dog, <laughs> their dog's name is Winston, so there's a little dog house there. As I had mentioned before, or hopefully I mentioned, this is all laminate flooring down here, so super easy to maintain. You have another built-in unit. You have a TV, just like up in the master bedroom, and you also have a, uh, um, an electric fireplace there. You have another sitting area that's being just sort of organized right there. You have another storage room here, and then you have another area there. Dimensions are all on the listing cut. So you have another big storage room. You have some built-in shelving, and there's actually a secret room that I'm going to take you in behind the shelving. You can just get a good idea. And so there's a little handle you push, and then it pops the lever. And then we have another storage room hidden behind. So you have some shelving for storage there, and basically a big secret storage room. So there you go. My name is Chris Ryan. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to, uh, to reach me. I'm a realtor with Royal LePage Atlantic. My phone number is 902-830-4465. Thank you.